the wise men came. A young Peggy Seeger recording radio ballads in Birmingham in the 1960s. The series combined folk songs with real voices, sections of society like the travellers that would normally go unheard. Oh, the gypsies were dark. They call us car boshes, black people. Gang of buddies. Some said it more polite than others. Well, every time I listen to the radio ballads, I see in my mind where we recorded them and who was talking. I have an amazing memory for that. I was taken along as musical director. I was taken along to record. Now that was expensive, but necessary because I got a taste of this and I could build it in to the, to the um, accompaniments. Ahead of a concert at the CBSO Centre tonight, Peggy reminisced with fans at Birmingham Library this morning. The groundbreaking documentaries were also made by her partner, folk artist Ewan McCall and BBC producer Charles Parker. Charles Parker was this wonderfully eccentric, driven BBC producer who started his life as a Tory and finished it as a Maoist through the influence of Ewan and the miners and whatever, people he recorded. Um, and he was an incredible innovator. Peggy Seeger made a career of writing songs on social issues. She was also the inspiration for Ewan McColl's love song, The First Time Ever I Saw Your Face, later made famous by Roberta Flack. Ever I saw your face. You must have been very moved by the fact that he wrote that song. I thought it was my due at the time. <laughs> but Peggy proved she wasn't just a pretty face, telling extraordinary stories of ordinary lives through her music. Bob Hockenall, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.